In this talk, we describe how users on Reddit engage in conversation about ethical concerns. We will identify what types of artifacts were shared, the salient ethical concerns that community members link with asshole behaviors, and how this points toward community-grounded definitions of non-value-centered design. I am presenting on behalf of my co-authors, Sai Shruti, Trivukula, and Aram Lee. Our main goal in this project was to highlight the felt ethical complexity experienced by end users as they posted and discussed ethically nuanced artifacts on social media. To frame our study, we build upon a range of prior work that describes the ethical concerns present in everyday technologies, the ways in which ethics are inscribed into artifacts, the confluence of end user perspectives perceptions of ethics in relation to contemporary policies and legal frameworks, and the ethical design complexity that designers engage in when creating designed outcomes. We also explicitly build upon our prior research on dark patterns and the ways in which these strategies are used by designers in manipulative ways to influence user behaviors. Our research context was the subreddit r slash asshole design, which has 1.4 million subscribers at the time of presentation. We leveraged this community to explore and describe online discussions of ethical concerns present in everyday interactions by social media users. This subreddit aims at a large scale to collect examples of asshole design guarded by, guided by the sardonic tagline, because nothing comes before profit, especially not the consumer. This subreddit community is mod moderated and includes a range of guidelines that are intended to focus posts on artifacts that intentionally create suboptimal user experiences that value profit over user experience. The contribution of our work is threefold. First, we characterize the properties of asshole design through a content analysis of artifacts post posted in the subreddit r slash asshole design. This analysis enables a description of different mechanisms used and ranges of contexts in which these designs exist, building upon the dark patterns literature. Second, we distinguish asshole design from value-centered design and bad design, providing a precise conceptual vocabulary to inform ethics-focused research in HCI contexts. Third, we characterize the capacity of an online community to engage in ethical argumentation on the ground without specific philosophical supports, opening up new opportunities to study and support ethical deliberation without precise or articulated ethics vocabulary. To engage with this community, we collected data from the r slash asshole design subreddit over a two-year period. Using the Reddit API and a set of PHP scripts, we retrieved 4,775 posts, which were published in r slash asshole design from 2017 and 2018. To limit the number of posts to a reasonable volume for hand coding, we randomly selected 1,002 posts from the 4,775 4, using a random number generator. We began by excluding all posts that were not consistent with the community definition of asshole design, and all further analysis was conducted on the 690 posts that remained. 565 of these 690 posts were consistent with one or more dark pattern strategy, as previously outlined by Gray et al., leaving 125 posts that were categorized as asshole design, yet did not use any known dark pattern strategies. We coded 1,002 posts using a custom online dashboard, applying codes non-exclusively. To ensure coding consistency and agreement, we divided posts among all researchers and discussed any posts where the meaning of the codes or their application was unclear. This coding process and the regular conversations that the analysis encouraged increased the rigor of our data analysis and built a shared understanding of all codes. In the full paper, we address three related research questions. For the purpose of this presentation, we will focus primarily on the third research question. What properties do asshole designers take on to implement their malicious intent? In this section, we will focus on the posts that mislead or manipulate users without the presence of dark pattern strategies. Using these posts, we seek to move beyond the community's ability to identify artifacts consistent with dark strategies already well known to design practitioners, identifying a set of properties that lead toward a community-grounded notion of the asshole designer. We've identified six properties described as qualities of asshole designers, including automating the user away, being two-faced, being controlling, entrapping, nickling and diming, and misrepresenting. For this presentation, we provide examples for three of these properties. Designers who are two-faced create interactions that provide the user with contradictory and conflicting information, with the goal of confusing the user into following a predetermined path, often through disjointed textual information. For example, one post illustrates an ad blocking application which includes fine print that indicates, quote, contains ads. The post's author shares a sardonic description, 
quote, want to get rid of ads? Too bad. Designers who are controlling create interruptions or restrictions in the user experience, explicitly altering the task flow. This control can be implemented using technologies such as unskippable pop-ups, placing ads in awkward contexts, or providing a lack of options for selection. For example, one user posted, quote, TurboTax is like a psycho significant other. The only button at the confirm unsubscription page is resubscribe. In this case, the user was trying to unsubscribe to the service, which directs to a page where there is only a resubscribe option. Designers who nickel and dime the user seek to make the user pay more than they intend, often by failing to disclose the full cost of engaging with the service. For example, one author posted an email from their credit card company with a subject line that reads, hey, you haven't maxed out this credit card. What do you think this is? This type of interaction is persuading them to max out their usage of the credit card, thus leading to other future opportunities for fees that would benefit the shareholder. Through our content analysis, we've identified and described ethical concerns that are presented by Reddit users. We will outline a few implications of this work on the following slides. In all of these examples, the properties of the asshole designer fit the requirements of the subreddit in that they are not bad design and the manipulative outcomes are intentional. This leads us to investigate further how asshole designers might differ from designers that use dark pattern strategies to structure their designed outcomes. We define asshole designer properties as instances where designers explicitly assert control over the user's experience, implementing obnoxious, coercive, or deceitful behaviors that are almost solely in the shareholder's best interest. These properties can be differentiated from dark pattern strategies, which according to Brignall are, quote, instances where designers use their knowledge of human behavior, such as psychology, and the desires of end users to implement deceptive functionality that is not in the user's best interest, end quote. While dark design intent can exist in both categories, asshole properties are coercive on their face and can be easily recognized by users. In the overlap between asshole design properties and dark patterns, designed artifacts may include a combination of carefully employed deceptive strategies that are not immediately detectable to end users, alongside other elements which are blatantly coercive. In the paper, we differentiate among value-centered design, bad design, and the mixtures of asshole design properties and dark pattern strategies that may shift the value-centeredness of any individual design artifact. These may be productively viewed as a continuum from value-centered to evil which identifies numerous opportunities for future work from user, shareholder, and designer perspectives. It is interesting that these evil or dark outcomes were taken up as evidence of intentional design by a designer in the conversations on this subreddit. Building upon this anthropomorphizing ethics approach, we do not position only single designers as culpable. In contrast, we found that the users on this subreddit blamed various stakeholders, such as writers, movie producers, marketing strategists, subtitle designers, and users that built inappropriate communities on social platforms. Thus, we positioned the properties of asshole designers as impacting multiple stakeholders. Although ethical issues are often considered a difficult topic for non-experts to discuss, these community members actively engaged in ethical argumentation by exposing and shaming the creators of asshole designs. Indeed, at the time of writing, this subreddit ranked 82nd among the most active subreddits on Reddit, with high levels of user participation. I'll close with a portion of a post that was made on the occasion of the subreddit reaching 1 million users, which nicely frames the goals and role of the community and their capacity to engage in ethical argumentation. Quote, Every time you call out a company for their bullshit, you are helping to reinforce the sentiment that we are not simply mindless consumers. We aren't asking for the impossible. We're not asking that everything on the internet be free and immediately available for everyone everywhere, but we want the respect that comes from a two-way relationship. We give their website hits in business, and in return, they don't try to force us to jump through hoops just so they can get a teeny tiny bit more out of us. We are users, but we don't like being used." End quote. For any further questions or discussion, you can contact us on the email provided on this slide. We would like to acknowledge the support of the National Science Foundation and um, funding this research, and thank you for listening.